Okay, hi everybody and welcome. Um, Armored Pants here. I got the Muffin Meister with me too. Um, and we're going to do the first part of our giveaway draw. So uh, we have some cool prizes for you. Um, so uh, before we um, get underway, we have some uh, good news for you, which is actually stemming from a bit of bad news, a bit of miscommunication. So uh, there was no problem on Muffin's video, no problem on Economics Mate video, but yours truly here, a bit of problem in that about 60% of people put their entries onto the actual video for the giveaway and others put it onto the notification video. So in order that nobody misses out, um, talking to Muffin earlier, so what we decided to do is we're going to give away um, an extra prize. There's going to be four prizes, not three. And we're going to give away an extra starter kit just so none of you guys miss out because, you know, we know, you know it's, it's a couple, it applies to a couple of hundred people. So that's a lot of people who went to the trouble of coming along, commenting, leaving uh, their in-game name, etc. So we don't want anybody to miss out. So, so uh, some good news coming out of, that, out, of, out of that sort of miscommunication. So, uh, Muffin, um, uh, do you want to say a few words? Welcome our subscribers along. Yes, welcome everyone. You guys are all awesome. Glad to have you. Uh, super glad to be doing this with you. We love you guys um, and just super excited to announce some winners today. Yep, looking forward to that. And um, that's obviously what everybody wants to wants to hear. And um, like the last time we have some questions and the subscribers asked us. So I thought maybe we do a couple of those questions each. Then we do draw and then we'll do another couple of questions in a draw then I know you've got to go off and do some stuff. Um, and um, then I'm going to go to Australia, catch up with economics, mate. And then we do two more draws, a couple of more questions. Then we'll merge it all together into hopefully one seamless, very professional looking video, right? So that's the plan. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. Um, also could be a complete fucking disaster, but let's see. So, uh, okay. So uh, maybe first question, let's have a look here on the questions that we got. Um, so, uh, first question um, is um, coming from Satan's Bedfellow, oh, pretty cool name, and he's asking, he's saying, guys, I know you do it for the love of the game, but does it help if um, us subscribers watch your videos more than once and watch them all the way through to the end? Does it help you in terms of views, uh, SOE, etc.? So, do you want to take that one first, Muffin? It does. It does help. Uh, I think watching all the way through, we have uh, YouTube gives us a dashboard, like analytics that we can all kind of go off of. And based on that performance, it allows us to either monetize our channel or not be able to monetize our channel. So um, to answer that, I believe yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, quite good timing to that question too because the economics mate has just reached the point where he's able to monetize his channel right so yeah congratulations absolutely and he deserves it um and i think um you know just to emphasize what muffin said there every watch every like uh, and also the longer that you watch and the more times you watch it all helps us um and it helps us um you know in terms of so many different aspects of youtube but the answer is definitely yes and he also has a also um not related but also a very interesting second part to that question um and it basically touches a little bit on what we spoke about the last time in terms of what our favorite tanks are um, from history he's asking um in terms of historical tanks that actually existed what do we believe are best represented in terms of their characteristics in in blitz so you want, we you want go, to take that one first? first? Yeah, sure. You go. Okay. It gives me more time to think. Right. <laughs> so this one kind of dawned on me after some of these challenge vids I do with like Tiger 1 versus 4M4s. And I had a lot of comments of people saying, hey, use this instead because it's way more accurate. And I went through um, a lot of like hit online history resources, did a ton of research in terms of what the actual engine power, the fight, like firepower maneuverability and the one I would say that's the most historically accurate is the Tiger 131. The the Tiger 1 actually in wargaming the blitzed one at tier 7 is like all all the stats are almost fantasy. It's like a super version of what the Tiger 1 actually performed like. And the Tiger 131 is actually like very, very historically accurate in terms of everything, penetration, shell velocity, um, 
So I actually thought that was very impressive. It's even down to like elevation and gun depression. So I, would, I guess long story short, Tiger 131 is my guess. Okay, good, good. Um, so do you know what the most uh, mass produced tank of World War II was? That's a good question. Let me think. The T-34? No, and that's, but interesting, that's a, a lot of what a lot of people say is actually the, uh, the Sherman. Um, oh. So um, just because of that um, uh, mass production and its prevalence, I'm going to go with the Sherman, just because there's so fucking many variations of it in, in the blitz, <laughs> right? Um, and, they keep, and often when they add new tanks, it's often just another variation of the Sherman. So we've got French ones, we've got an Egyptian one, we have like, I don't know how many American ones, we've got British ones, and we have a, a Russian one, right? Loza's Sherman. So just the fact that there's so many, there's such a proliferation, I would say that probably best represents the Sherman because it was the most mass produced tank of, of World War II. So I hope that sense. answers Satan's bedfellows question. Um, second question, and um, this is a um, kind of interesting question. This is from Kay Haas. And Kay is asking, do we have any other hobbies outside of Blitz? So do you want to take that one first? Yeah, um, no. I actually don't. <laughs> okay. I really, I really okay. don't. My, my job, my family, my, everything takes all my time, and then blitz. Oh, That's oh it. God. I'm gonna shit myself. Um, <laughs> Right, well, uh, I don't know whether this makes me seem like a weirdo, but I have loads of other hobbies. So, <laughs> uh, maybe I, maybe I'm just not as dedicated as you, man. I don't know. So, uh, but I, <laughs> I, um, so I scuba dive, um, and I'm lucky enough I've been able to scuba dive off all five continents of the world. Um, I, um, I, um, I'm a historian, so I, I run a, a history page on on Facebook with my brother called Napoleon's Notebook. Um, I collect watches. I've been collecting watches for about 10 or 12 years now. Um, I play squash, play badminton, um, play football, soccer, as you call it. Oh, um, yeah. And um, I ski and I, I bicycle and mountain bike as well. So that's just a few of the things I do as well. So That so, just means I need a life. <laughs> yeah. As Groucho Marx said, you got to get out more. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I hope that answers your your, your question, uh, your question, Kay. Um, right, um, and then uh, I guess maybe let's go for let's go for draw. Should we go for draw? So let's I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna share my screen. So I uh, I preloaded up um, your video. So let's do yours first. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's share it on the desktop. Okay. Sharing it. Okay. Now I have yours. Preload it's here. No, this is my one. Here's your one. This is, yeah, here's the muffin. Okay, you ready? All you right. Want to do a countdown there? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is exciting, isn't it? Ooh, look at those names. Okay, so the winner is Abbas <laughs> Abbas Satron 007. Ooh, okay. Um, and he's on North American server, so he's one of your compatriots. Hey. So there you go. So he's the winner there. Congratulations. And yeah, so maybe let's just take a note of that. Do you want to take a note of that? Um, I got recording this anyway, yeah. but obviously just in case. Um, so uh, Abastron 007. Cool. Okay. So let's take another couple of questions, and then we will... Um, uh, go and do the uh, draw on the first of my videos. Um, uh, so, uh, okay, so, all right, so Ambrose Young is asking about our YouTube names, and he's asking um, where did they come from or what did we, how did we come up with them? So do you wanna, do you wanna go first? Don't tell, don't tell me it's because you love muffins. It has to be better, it has to be better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's really funny. I um, I honestly don't care too much for muffins. Oh, okay. I actually don't even really eat them that often. Uh, the name I think I had originally uh, since middle school, and it just was like a funny word, like name, stud muffin. Okay. And I don't know why people found it so funny. 
but I ended up just using them as an in-game name. So it originally just kind of started from there. Like way back in the game, like in the day when you choose a username, I think from like N64 or something like that. And I just stud muffin. I just stuck with it ever since. But I honestly yeah. don't really care for muffins myself. Like I think they're okay. Yeah, but I mean, you don't have, you don't have anything that. against them as a food store. <laughs> so, yeah, which is good. Exactly. I mean, I, I may have a muffin. Yeah. A little bit. The dad bod, you know. But um, yeah, that that's really kind of just where it all came from. Okay, cool. Cool. So, I mean, armored pants. Uh, well, I mean, I just thought it was kind of amusing. But also, you know, I, 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 you know, I've said this many times in my videos before. Like when I started playing Blitz, I was just so fucking bad. It was unbelievable. I was just awful. <laughs> and um, I, I was thinking to myself, I'm so shit at this game. I probably even need my fucking pants to be armored because I just got my ass blown off so many times. So that's sort of where it came from. So yeah, so um, that's awesome. Yeah, but uh, not 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 as long a nickname as as yours. Um, Okay, and then um, next question then is from Jeremiah Orr, and he's asking, do we prefer um, World of Tank as Blitz over mobile devices, or would we prefer it over PC? Um, you want me to go first? Yeah, yeah sure. Man. Okay, um, so I tried PC, and I can't stand that 30-second timer, or I think it's like a minute. Before you can get into a game, I think it counts down from like a minute. I think the game is incredible. Like the graphics, there's way more tanks. I'm not a very patient person. So the blitz mentality of like faster, quicker, seven second start timer just fits way better mm. um, with like who I am. So I, I'd have to say I like blitz a lot more. Yeah, I, I would have to say, I, unlike you, I've never played it on PC, so I can't comment. I have seen, obviously, gameplay, and I've seen, I can concur that the graphics are amazing. Um, also, it's bigger, right? Just 15 tanks per battle rather than seven, right? So yeah. It's, and the maps are much bigger, et cetera. Um, but, I mean, for me, the, the, the beauty of Blitz is that it is mobile, right? So, you know, I travel a lot for work, et cetera. So being able to play, you know, when you're at an airport or something like that, for me, is one of the, one of the things that drew me into it in the start. And um, uh, I guess if I am at home and I, you know, have access to uh, play a game, I, um, I haven't really much since I had kids, but I, I, I would normally play on a console, right? So I'd play, um, I had an Xbox um, and I used to play like um, I liked Call of Duty and Medal of Honor those games so um, just playing them in campaign mode so yeah so I guess for both of us then it's Blitz right so I hope that, nice. hope that answers, <laughs> answers the question which I guess given that there's a clue in that, that we have World of Tank Blitz YouTube channel so I guess there's a clue in that as well right so but yep. I hope that answers the question uh, Jeremiah um, and then um, yeah and then uh, Fabian Arcandian are one of our our legendary uh, subscribers and the and, and the best smuggler sir, smuggler in the galaxy has a question for us. It's just a wonderful name, I have to say. I just I, you know, I, if I ever if I ever have if I ever come back, I want to be called that. That's just the best name ever. Um, oh yeah. He he's just wondering. I guess this is kind of similar question to what we were asked before. He's he's wondering about um our in game names. So are they the same as our YouTube channel names? And if so, again, where did they come from? So. Um, do you want to take that one first? Yeah, it's Blitz with Muffin is my channel. My in-game name is Stud Muffin 1986 uh, with an underscore between the two. So it's different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's same same origins from the name. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So my channel is Armored Pants. My first um, my first major account was Armored Pants. And um, since then, I, I don't use that too much uh, anymore. Since then, I've, I've, I've also opened up lots of other accounts so I can kind of play anonymously. So, but I've had some fun names in there, like My Nuts, Your Chin, Arse Biscuits, um, <laughs> Harry, Potter, Harry Potter's Other Wand, um, Gandalf, Gandalf Shorter Staff. So um, <laughs> I, just, I just like to create some sort of um, amusing ones. If um, uh, the, my one on the uh, my one on the Asian server is Aristotle's throttle. I don't know why it just sounded just sounded good, right? I'm not aware that Aristotle had a had a motor vehicle. But, yeah, just, 
just sounded good. <laughs> we can ask economics, mate. I, I think he's a big petrol head. You probably know if Aristotle did actually possess an automobile. I don't think he did. Um, okay, so let's um, take a break again then from the Q&A, and let's go and do another draw, shall we? All right. Let me share my, me share my screen again. Okay, share it. Okay, so we have... This is one of my videos here. Yeah, okay, so let's go. And let's see who the random winner is this time. I wonder if it'd be the same one from my, oh, hey, I oh. think I know him. Uh, I know him too. He's a very active subscriber and um, he um, actually um, comments a lot on my videos and I guess he yeah. does a nice from your reaction. So absolutely brilliant that one of our regular subscribers is one. So congratulations in Trons, Intertrons. Yes, okay. he's awesome. Yeah, he's cool. He's a cool subscriber. As our other subscriber, that's 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 awesome. So, um, okay, so I think we can close those down now. Now, um, so we have picked the two winners, right? But yep. um, I think what we um, need to do though is now um, pick the prizes uh, that they've won, right? So we're going to do that randomly as well, right? So. Um, as you're, as you're the first one, um, why, I'm going to let you pick a number between one and four, and that will be associated with uh, one of the prizes. Um, and what I'll do is then I will, I'm not going to pick a number, I'm going to leave it to economics mate to pick, and then whatever two are left will be mine. Yeah. So just in fairness, as I, nice. as, I, as I wrote down the numbers, I can't really pick. Right? So, okay, so <laughs> pick a number between one and four. All right, let's go with uh, four. Okay, so you have just won the biggest prize for your for your subscriber. It's the war chest. Hey! Yeah. So <laughs> well done. Um, yeah. So congratulations. So the muffin strikes again. <laughs> Solid gold as always. So congratulations. So we right. still got three more prizes to go. Though, and there's a lot of gold, and a lot of premium time still available to win. So muffin, thanks a million. Um, I now need to. Jet off to to Australia, to the economics, mate. Good on yeah, Shrimp and the Bobby. So um, um, a few closing words from you. Yeah, you guys stay cool and keep tanking. Okay. And by the way, congratulations on hitting the 5K subs. I think you're going to be 6K soon, right? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Yeah. 6K and on to 10. Yeah, Muffin Monster. No stopping it. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. Um, Goodbye to Muffin, and I'm going to see you in a few minutes with Economics, mate. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Okay, hi, everybody. Kind of knackered, just flew in from Utah, here in Sydney now with Economics, mate. How are you? Very good, mate. How you going? Uh, good, good. So we're here for the second part of the draw. Um, so, I mean, I've said quite a lot already about the, uh, about the, about the draw, etc. So over to you. Do you want to say a few words to subscribers, mate? Yeah, um, just wanted to say you guys are all a bunch of body legends. Uh, thanks all for the support. And, yeah, just keep rocking on. That's it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think we can all get on board with that. Um, so um, I think, um, you know, um, I think firstly, congratulations to you. We saw that you recently just hit um, three, 3.3K 3 subscribers, right? Uh, so it's phenomenal growth in the, last, in the last few weeks. But uh, well-deserved. You've been pumping out some really high-quality videos. Uh, so congratulations to you. Hope 5K is uh, around the corner and um, hopefully 10K soon, right? Um, and um, yeah, so I think it's fantastic and it's great to see, um, you know, YouTubers like you uh, really getting rewards for all your hard work. So um, this is fantastic stuff. So, uh, but again, big thank you to all our subscribers for that, right? Because they make, they, they're the guys who make this all possible. And I know that you've also reached a huge milestone on your channel with the monetization, right? So, which is really Correct. Yeah, yeah. And that will allow you to give even more back to the community, right? So I think it's really great. So congratulations on that too, mate. Um, thank you. So um, why don't we? Why, so without further ado, maybe you want to we want to kick off with a, a draw, and then we can um, and then we can um, then uh, do short Q and A. I know you're a bit uh, tight for time today, mate. I know you've got a lot on. 
Uh, so we'll do a quick Q&A in the second round, then we can uh, have a wrap up. Yeah, sound good? Cool. All sure. right. So I've, 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 I've saved you a bit of time. I've done the preload. I've preloaded up your video into the random comment selector. So it's already there. So I'm just going yeah. to um, share the screen now. And then we can pop over to, um, uh, yeah, and I think this is you here. So um, where are we? here we go. Okay. So I think this is you. Yep. Okay. You ready? Three, yep. two, one, here we go. So, exciting times. Here we go. Okay, and the winner is Luke Man 10. Or Luke Man 10. And he's on the Asian server. So, actually, that's great because he's one of your, one of your I was going to say locals. Nothing's really local in Asia, is it? But uh, <laughs> everywhere is far away. But, um, uh, yeah, right. but that's, so congratulations to him. Congrats, Mike. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. So, but what, what we're going to do, by the way, is um, um, I'm going to ask you to pick a number then now between one and four. Four is already picked, so basically a number between one and three, and then that will determine what the prize is. So, do you want to go ahead? Uh, let's go with two. Two. Okay. So, that is a starter kit. So, uh, Lookman 10 has won a starter kit. So congratulations, cool. and uh, economics mate will be in touch with you, and uh, we get you to your we get you your gold and your premium time as soon as possible. Okay, cool. So um, let's go. I'll stop the share now. We can go back to um, we can go back to uh, the uh, Q and A. Um, so um, so in terms of uh, the Q and A, so there's a couple of questions already asked, <coughs> um, but um, you obviously didn't get a chance to ask. So um, one of the questions was, uh, what, uh, where did our uh, YouTube um, uh, channel names come from? Right? And I'm actually quite interested in this too, because Economics Mate is, is not really a Blitz-related one, it's, but it's really interesting name. So maybe you want to help us uh, understand where that came from. Yeah, sure. So um, going back to 2015, uh, year 11 economics class, uh, my, basically my economics coordinator, his favorite line to say was, uh, yeah, mate, you got to study economics. You know, you'll get you through life, all that kind of stuff. I used to hype it up so much to sort of the younger, the younger students in year ten and year year nine and that, so they can they can pick economics for later on. Um, and it sort of just stuck to me, and I and it, I don't know, just I don't know what it was, but because like my in-game name back then was like Panzer Grenadier or something like that, some generic German sort of isk name. Yeah. Um. Because I've been playing the game since like 2014, so my, I, I've I've got no idea where my old account details are. I've completely misplaced them, so I can't access that account. But um, when I made uh, when I made this account, the current yeah. one, I needed to choose, I guess, an interesting name. Yeah. So come 2016, beginning of 2016, um, it's so that, that that line kept sticking to me, and I said, I love economics. And you know, I'm Aussie, whatever. I, I'm. I want to give sort of a unique twist to my in-game name, and just about have my username everywhere, whether it's on social media, whatever, to be different. So I thought, okay, economics, mate. I right, put them together. It sounds good, economics, mate. And then just sort of went from there. And it's been my username for on Twitter, Discord, uh, YouTube, uh, in-game name, <laughs> basically yeah. everywhere I could. It's just economics, man, and that's okay. sort of stuck with me since then. Yeah. So yeah, that's cool. it's, yeah, yeah. So it's your in-game, it's your in-game name as well, yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Armored Pants obviously was my first in-game name, but since then, don't really use that account. I I have multiple accounts and different. I change names all the time so I can play anonymously, so I can shoot the videos. Um, I, and I didn't want to go with like player zero one seven nine five six. You know, so I spent some time you know, messing around with different names, you know. So Arse Biscuits was one I had for quite some time. I don't, do you know what Arse Biscuits are, do you? <laughs> not so much. Oh, well, that, that, that's, that's not a bad thing you don't know that. So uh, basically, no, no, no. yeah, so, you know, we, you know uh, I have kids. I was talking about this with Muffin earlier. So um, when you're cleaning the kid's ass in the shower, you find particles in the, in the oh, cheeks yeah. of their ass. So yeah. they can be, and they can be anything, bits of food or other stuff. Uh, so they're Irish biscuits. So there you know, So that's kind of. Oh, so it's, it's it's actually like so the name actually literally means that. Okay, I yeah. thought it was like a a colloquial a slang kind of thing, kind of like here we say, oh that's cactus mate, which means yeah. uh, oh that's dead or you know that's crap or whatever. 
All right, fair enough. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> but Arse biscuits are obviously that. not something you want to encounter. So it's not a positive thing, let's say, right? So, you know, you wouldn't want, yeah. you wouldn't want to get served Arse biscuits in a restaurant, for example, right? So no. regardless of what the side is, you wouldn't want Arse biscuits, right? So, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the, but the next question, by the way, is a bit more serious. Um, so, um, you know, uh, one of the videos I did earlier on uh, in my channel was this one about toxicity and it kind of went a bit viral and it's one of the reasons the channel grew. And one, uh, uh, one of our subscribers has actually asked, um, you know, if we would, if you, me, Muffin, some other bitches would redress that. <laughs> and by the way, the guy who asked this question, and by the way, this is by no means a segue. His name is The Gaming Biscuit. So... <laughs> just as an interesting aside to our previous conversation. But he's also asking, like, you know, if we would address this somehow and also what our view on toxicity is. So maybe you want to you wanna take that one, Nico? Um, yeah, interesting enough. The toxicity in Blitz is, I mean, before anyone gives, gets the wrong idea, I've always said majority of the Blitz community, like 90% of it, uh, is fantastic. The people are great. They're always yeah. respectful to each other. Um, they're always, I mean, look, look at what we did you know, we all came together to support Meadzy and yeah. all the subs from all our channels were supporting it. And that shows that everyone is sort of connected, you know, and that's what I love about the Blitz community. And people say, oh, Blitz community is going to die. Blitz is gonna... I go, no, 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 it's, it's not going to die. We're not like PC where, you know, everyone's toxic to each other and no one really likes the game. Here, it's because it's smaller, because we're all connected. And I feel like because there's a lot more content creators out there compared to pc for example there's, there's always just the main ones whereas here we have so much content creators so many discord mm. servers so many active members the biz community is amazing however it's always that 10 percent the minority that ruin it for everyone else um and it's it's sad because if you come on the asia server for example a lot of people on the asia server can't speak english properly right so Sometimes the stuff they say comes out very toxic indeed, like, oh, F your mother, this, that, dog, you know, mm. bitch. It's just, it's really sad. And they're like, get cancer. It's like, I mean, really? Get cancer? It's like, that's like the lowest form of insult you could give to anyone, you know? Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard. It's, it's sad. Happen, it happens, but you can't, the problem is you can't stop it. That's the thing. At the end of the day, most of these people, they're kids, you know, they're youngsters. They don't know any better. They might hear it from somewhere else and they might copy it, you know. Yeah. If it comes from an adult, that's even worse because you're being a bad influence to all the younger generation. Um, but like I've always said, I mean, I'm happy to, I, I think I've made like maybe one video about it like ages ago. I might need to make another one to properly address it because it, it, a lot of people always say, oh, man, you know, I get these people that message me in game, tell me to go F myself, you know. It's, it's, it's sad. For me, personally, either you ignore them or you just say, all right, mate, you know, you do what you got to do and I'm not going to say anything. Um, look, I'm not saying I'm not innocent. We've all, you know, said, insulted the team somehow. We've all had our days when we're up and down and we're a bit angry and someone's pushed you or, or you know, just been a, an absolute nuisance and you've just gone out, you know, like, F you. That's it. Fair enough. You just said F you, that's it. Fair enough. You stop there. You're not going to keep going on and on and on like Muppets in so many different cases. But I'm not saying, I'm not, cond I'm not endorsing in any way, shape or form. I'm just saying that we're all yeah. kind of guilty of it. Yeah, I guess, anyway, I guess we all have our off days. I, mean, my I personally on. don't, and I never have. And I actually don't respond to, I have in-game chat on because I want to see what people are saying. Um, because as you said, most of the time it's good and it's necessary to communicate. But I never, I don't never write anything except I ask my team to do things and I never respond to it ever. Um, if I get a message, I just ignore it. And if somebody writes something in the game, I just ignore it. But just a couple of things on that. Um, the thing that you mentioned about the, um, you know, if it's a kid doing it, it's fair enough, right? Because, you know, kids haven't matured yet. And the other thing which is really disappointing, there's a new tank being tested at the moment in the European server, I don't know if it's in the Asian server too, an SPG or something like that. Yeah, S STG God, yeah. Yeah, right. One of the guys testing that. So this is a guy that wargaming are trusting to be a, a leader in the community was abusing people in the game. 
and um, I took his uh, in-game name as well. So, so also at Strategic War Game, you take more responsibility, but also clan leads. I mean, if you if you think this is the right thing to do yeah. as a clan lead, then you should have a serious think about yourself because you're supposed to be you're supposed to be uh, setting an example. You know? But um, I do I do also agree with you. That I think it's 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 the ten percent gives a ninety percent a bad name. But unfortunately, you know, we tend to always remember the the ten percent to that that um that, that abuses, right? Um, yeah. You know, it's the same. It's the same in business. So you like economics, right? So one of the lessons from economics is that if you have nine, if you have ten customers and nine of them are satisfied and one is dissatisfied, those nine customers usually tell one person, right? So nine people hear good things, but the dissatisfied one tells ten people. So actually, yeah. more people hear bad things, even though it's only ten percent, right? And so that's why, even though it's a smaller amount, it does have a very it has a an exponentially worse effect on the community. But overall, it's positive, um, and I think people like you, like Muffin, um, like Meadsy, and that, and hopefully myself, we are setting a good example, and um, we are showing that it is a strong community, as you said, and that we do care for each other, and that it's not just a game; it is actually a, a vibrant community. And, um, and I think, as you yeah. mentioned. Uh, the, the last stuff around Meezy when he was going through such a hard time, I think, has um, has shown that 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 really is a that really is something, right? So, yeah. So anyway, hope that hope that answers your question, Biscuit. <laughs> so, um, so, um, so do you want to? I know you're tight for time, so we go and do the last draw then, and then we have a quick wrap up and say goodbye. So yeah, let me share yeah, my sure. let me share my screen again. Um, yep. Okay. And I think, but just quickly, I think interesting point you said about the like the clan leads and stuff like, that, especially with testers, like it's it's people like that shouldn't be given privileges like that. They should be, um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's not that's not good. Yeah, I mean, just because you're a good player doesn't make you a good person, right? So no, um, and it's that's, like they say: the better you are, the better you are statistic wise, the more toxic you are, which is yeah. just ridiculous. You shouldn't be taking yeah. that kind of mentality yeah. anyway. Yeah, well, no, uh, Einstein, I think, famously said the. Uh, the less the knowledge, the bigger the ego. The bigger the knowledge, yeah. the less the ego, right? So, um, yeah. So, okay. So let's have. Uh, so this is the this is the the last one, and this is um, uh, one of the the second one of my videos. So I think it's the it's the giveaway announcement video. So let's have a let's start that off and see who's the winner. Okay, it's uh, Eistemir. And he's in the Asia server as well. Aha! Uh -huh. So Asia's doing pretty well. So we have, um, I think we got one on North American, two on Asia, and one European winner. So again, going back to what you were saying, Nico, it's a it's a global community, and we have global winners there from all over the world. So it'd be interesting to yeah. see, um, interesting to see, uh, to talk to these guys to see what what countries they're in. So we seem to be from uh, uh, touching all corners of the globe. Um, or as the Flat Earth Society, we have members all over the globe. That actually used to say that on their website. So there you go. <laughs> okay, so let me stop the share screen share there, and we'll uh, go back. So Eco, I think it's been a, a fantastic collaboration working with you. Really enjoyed it. It's great getting to know you as a person, and um, great getting to know you as a YouTuber, seeing more of your content. I think this um, giveaway has been a great success. Um, yep. see, um, I think our subscribers really enjoyed it and of course at the end of the day they get something substantial which they can use so I really enjoyed it I hope we can do something else together again soon um, would you like to say a few words just to sign off yeah I just wanted to say um, thanks so much for uh, having me on uh, for giving me this opportunity for supporting me uh, to all you subscribers out there you guys have been amazing uh, continue to do what you do um, you know, we've, we're always we're always here for you no matter what. Um, even if we come into a sort of bit of trouble and we can't upload as much, uh, just know that we're always going to be coming back no matter what. And uh, we do really appreciate everything you guys do. And yeah. especially all the comments you put. It's really nice to read everyone's comments. And, uh, you know, when you get messaging game or when you get recognized or in my case, get tunneled every time you go into battle and they all just want to... Yeah. Let's get him. But that, yeah, that's why you need to you need to have a different account because I mean that happened. You know, yeah. Once, well, yeah, I can't once. I can't I can't afford the gold to keep changing my name, so I have uh, to I have to just stick with it. Anyway, it's, uh, it's well, now, you, now you're it's monetizing fun. your channel. You're gonna be you're gonna be rolling in a yeah. Bit, so you can have multiple <laughs> accounts. And, right, no problem. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I think I think true. we are gonna keep coming back. <laughs> Whether I don't know, so that might be bad news for some people. <laughs> but um, but yeah, we're gonna be here. Um, and yeah, I, think, I guess 
yeah, thank you to all the subscribers. They've been fantastic. They're bloody legends, as you guys say in Australia. So, um, yeah. And then, you know, so it was really, it's been a great giveaway. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks very much to you. Thanks very much to Muffin. And thanks very much to all our subscribers, everybody who took part. Congratulations to the winners. Um, we will do something else again soon, right? Muffin's also interested. So I think we do some more collabs together and with other, other YouTube um, uh, YouTubers as well. So looking forward to that. So, um, Eco, you have a good day, mate. It uh, looks like a beautiful day over there in Sydney. It's pissing rain here. Yeah, oh, right? yeah. So, um, no, not a cloud in the sky, so that's and, good. It's uh, <laughs> been pissing rain here. It's due to piss rain for the whole week. And they've closed the schools due to COVID, so the kids are home. So, okay. uh, I think I'm going to need to hit the beer at some point, yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks very much. Uh, I guess um, it's goodbye from you. And I guess all that remains for me to say is pants off. I'm a bit of the elevator, that's all, folks.